This is a Surface laptop. I mean, isn't it? It's 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 simply gorgeous. I'm telling you, it's just gorgeous. It's such a gorgeous product. This product is so meticulously crafted. When I talk about the details of putting a TV together with my dad, it, this this is unreal. What this does, every single part of this product, every detail thought through, every single detail. When you look at this product and you put it in your hands, you're going to find no reference to how any of these parts have come together in the product. You won't find a screw. You won't find anything that leaves a parting line across the device. You see perfect lines, a perfect flow of energy. When you pull it apart and open it seamlessly, you see a tone and tone balance in the colors. In product making, we have a thing called the first read. We talk about it in our design labs all the time. What's the first read on the product? How does it feel? It's meant to be silent to the eyes. That's critical. When you look at it, does it feel good? Does it draw you in? What does it mean? Why? How do we get people into their flow? How do we get them moving? It really is a product that draws you in. It's one of these products where you have to feel it to understand it. And so we'll do that. Um, can I show you this device? I want to talk about the way we made it with you, if that's cool. Am I embarrassing you right now? I probably am. <laughs> I'm, I mean, you have lovely equipment. I don't want to hurt it. I'm gonna, you don't have to move. Stay right there. Stay right there. No, totally cool. You do have to move, though, so scoot in a little bit. <laughs> All right, cool. <clears throat> All right. This is a Surface laptop, and this is burgundy. You're wearing burgundy. I am wearing burgundy. I think we didn't plan this, did we? That's pretty cool. I want you to see it. I want you to feel it. I want you to kind of get the essence of this product. When you think of what we're trying to do with the laptop and where we want to push things, we want to push things a little bit further. We want to move from things that are feeling like machines and we want to move to something that's more personal, something that's just more personal to you. Keep it for the show. Show it to whoever you want. But I think, do you like it? I, I, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> if you take a look, we've designed the product. We've designed the product in four gorgeous colors. Burgundy, graphite gold, platinum, and cobalt blue. All beautifully, all beautifully inspired through different elements in nature to bring it to life. And the idea of making something more personal and bringing it to you was critical in this product. Now, when you hold this product, it feels amazingly thin and light, which is really important when it comes to a laptop like this. It's 2.76 pounds. It's under 14 and a half millimeters. And with one finger, you can open the screen, which is super cool. But it's very elegant in the sense that I just open it smoothly just like that. And what you get is a 13 and a half inch diagonal with a 3 by 2 aspect ratio. This is the 
When you think of that aspect ratio in this diagonal, that's the productivity of a 14-inch laptop in your standard 16 by 9 format. So it's like a 14-inch laptop, but it feels and acts like a 13-inch size when it's in your bag. And here's great. When you close it, when you close this product, it feels so elegant. It's important. It's important that it sounds good when you close it, because when you're done with your thought and you close something, don't you want closure? Of course you do. Now, when you look at the products, when you look at the products you're using right now, and there's a lot of them out there, you're going to find a rubber bumper around the screen. You're going to find either a piece of plastic around the screen. The reason that's there is because when you close these devices, you don't want to break the glass. I mean, that's pretty smart. But this elegant dance between these two parts come together so seamlessly in this product. And when I say at the first read, you won't find any misplaced parts in every detailed matter, there's no rubber bumper, there's no plastic chin, there's no hinge that you can see. It's all part of the device that flows and fades to the background. The screen itself is 3.4 million pixels. 3.4 million pixels, it's that exact screen that you would expect from Surface. That high contrast, that color calibrated screen, you know what it is. I do it every time, I'm not gonna do it, you know what it is. At the end of the day, this is the thinnest LCD touch module ever created and put into a laptop and that's how you get this form. That's the laptop. <laughs> Of course, um, <laughs> I'm low on time. I got to keep going. Okay, we <laughs> we could stay all day. That's an option. Uh, <clears throat> I want to show you the Surface Pen. I'm a huge fan of the pen. We talk about the pen all the time. Of course, the pen works on this screen. I want to show you a feature in Windows. If you haven't used it in the Creators Update, go give it a shot. Take a video. Get your pen, put it to the screen, and bring this feature to life. I'm going to show you the craftsmanship video that you'll find in my blog later today. It's about two minutes long. This is a 30-second cut of that just to bring it to life. And what you can do with something. So if students, if you will, they're making a lot of videos these days. Even my elementary school girls right now are doing it. My high school son and daughter, they're also making videos. Either they're doing book reports or they're telling stories or they're creating. This has happened. That didn't happen in my time, but it is happening now. In the world of video creating, for us, when the last video you saw, we spend a lot of time on every detail and every second of every frame. In this case, what I'm going to show you is how simple communication can change with the power of the pen and then the emotion that can come in with it. I'm gonna hit play, watch how this video will play. As it's playing, I'll put my pen to the screen to send the note to a team. And notice what happens, and we talk about this a lot. The power of the pen, don't underestimate it. The emotion that comes with writing, the cognitive recall that comes with writing. But in this case, I'm just sending a message to the team that says, it is awesome. The seam here that you cannot see is awesome, where the fabric and the aluminum come together is perfect, and I want them to feel that. So I'm gonna send this back to the team, if you will, right now. And so I'll rewind it. I'm gonna play it. I want you to enjoy these 30 seconds, so I'm gonna get out of your way. But then I want you to see how the ink makes its way back in that such a human form where you can collect that emotion because it's the ink and my soul that ends up on that screen that you get to feel because I wrote it with the exclamation points and with my handwriting. You also can kind of figure that out. If I was mad, it looks very similar. Okay, take a look at this. We try to put every good ingredient we learned from the past into Surface Laptop, like the fabric customized for each keyboard. When you open, you only see a piece of glass and piece of fabric and then keyboard. You don't really see the mechanical hinge. That's the pureness. There is no compromise in what we do in manufacturing. We're suddenly bringing metal and plastic keys and fabric together. Our manufacturing engineers are driven to invent processes to make sure that ultimately you're getting this full surface experience. Now you saw, you saw when when I use the pen, you should see no lag, you should see no latency, and the pen is really coming to life. The performance on this device is absolutely amazing. Think about Windows 10S for just a minute, because it's so important. You get this unbelievably streamlined performance that lasts, and you get this product that starts up unbelievably quickly, and let's just talk about that for just a second. When I opened the screen earlier, you saw me open it with one finger, and the screen was just there and turned on. And when I'm closing the screen with its elegant close, I'm shutting down this computer, I'm putting it into sleep. And then I want this product, and what Windows 10 has done with the engineering team, alongside the Surface team, is every single detail had to come to life 
because we cannot have students waiting for their products. If you're a student and you're in a lecture, you need to capture a note. You have to open your product and move. We're used to this generation where you just hit a button and your device is ready for you. The technology you have is there. Instant on is critical. It is part of our lives. It should be celebrated. But actually, the celebration of instant on is because you can capture your thought. You can capture the moment. You can capture your creation. And so that's what we brought to life in this product, that performance that's coming right now where it's just there. And if you're using Windows Hello, this product will log you in, and you're moving. You're going right in. That's so important. Now, this product comes with the latest Core i5 and Core i7 Intel processors. It's up to one terabyte if you choose PCIe SSD, and that is integrated directly onto the motherboard, which in essence lowers the power consumption and maximizes the performance on this device. No one has ever integrated a PCIe SSD that way ever before, and it results in this engineering effort that gets you to 14 and a half hours of battery life on this product. 14 and a half. This isn't about taking your charger and pulling it out of your bag in between classes. This is where we want to change the game. Charge your device, leave your charger home, and go to school. And then go to the library. And then come home and binge watch Netflix. <laughs> and then cram a little. And then charge it. That's so important. But just as important as designing the battery life when a device is on is designing the battery life when the device is off. I know that sounds kind of funny, but the truth is some of that promise of Windows 10S and Surface is just that. When you close the lid and you leave for spring break and you forgot to put the charge on, don't worry. When you get back, if you're disheveled a little bit and you're rushing to class, pick it up, open it, and you will be right where you left off. That exact same battery where you close the lid will be back when you come from spring break and ready for you to go. Isn't that awesome? It's just cool. <laughs> Now, let me, put this, let me put this device in a little bit of more context so you get a little more of that. In the history of laptops, in the history of laptops and designing a laptop, there has always been something that had to give, whether it's the weight, whether it's the battery life, whether it's the performance, whether it's the thinness, whether it's the key switch, the travel, how it feels under your hands. Everything was working against each other. If you want to push more pixels onto a screen like this, you probably need more battery life and a little bit more performance. If you need more battery life, you likely need a bigger battery. If you need a bigger battery, you likely need a thicker device. If you need a thicker device, it's likely getting heavier. And then reverse that or put it in any order. These are conflicting goals. This is the first product that brings that all together. The team talked about making the Surface Laptop and used the word balance. And when we create products, we talk about it. What is the one thing on this product? And it was, it was balance. We needed to bring a perfectly balanced product, a product that had never been brought together like this before. And a way to kind of put it in context is let's just talk about other laptops, because it frames it. Now, a lot of students use MacBook Airs and MacBook Pros, and we know that. And those are awesome products. I mean, they are awesome products. The Surface Laptop itself is lighter and thinner than any MacBook Air or MacBook Pro on the market right now. It's 50% faster than the MacBook Air. And when you compare the Core i7 Surface Laptop to the Core i7 13.3-inch MacBook Pro, the Surface Laptop is faster. And all that comes to this moment. We have more battery life in this product than any MacBook on market today. Put all that together, and that's the Surface Laptop. We're really proud of the team, really proud of the team. This is the, this is the laptop that starts to reset the category. I mean, it, it is the most balanced laptop you will ever find. Now, how did we do it? It's worth talking about, because the innovations on this product are hard to see. The beauty, easy to see and feel. The innovation, hard to see, because it's disappeared. We had to push this product to its peak performance while keeping the device as thin and light as possible. Our thermal design allows this front edge of the product to stay under 10 millimeters. That was critical, critical, because if we're going to bring something beautiful to you, keep all that performance in it, we couldn't start trading off any of the form of this product. We want students to be proud when they pull it out of their bag, and they want to feel proud when they do that. We integrated vapor chambers right in, in, shaped as heat pipes directly into the aluminum backing right underneath here. Now, I have to tell you this because my team back in Redmond right now is like, please just tell them, tell them. I'm like, you're never going to see this, but I'm still going to tell you. 
right under the processor these pipes run. And basically, it makes the bottom aluminum bucket three different parts in one. It's functional, it's structural, and it brings that cosmetic perfection all at the same time. That's not been done before. It allows us to pack everything we need in here and still give you the weight and battery life and thickness that you wanted. And then we knew how much beauty mattered and we weren't going to compromise it. Then we talked about this being a product I want you to be proud of when you pull out of your bag. We overlaid Alcantara fabric onto the top of the keyboard. This is a product imported from Italy. It's premium, it's durable, it stands the test of time. But it also allowed us to laser etch after we optically aligned each single key on the product to leave no lines on the product at all and to let no like leakage come out. So when you are cramming late at night, like I did for this presentation, you get the perfect light. You get the perfect light when you put your hands down. But it also allows us a full one and a half millimeter travel on the keyboard. It is buttery smooth, buttery smooth. When you put your hands on this thing and type, you feel so good and why does that matter? Because when you're in the flow, because when we have a student immersed, because when you are writing that entrance essay, this technology must get out of your way. It must, and it has to work seamlessly. And so when you put this thing on your, your hands on top of this keyboard, it feels warm doesn't feel cold, it invites you in. It invites you in. Now the fabric has just a bit, a bit more than just form. It has some amazing function. If you look at this product, you'll see no speaker grills, you'll see no speaker holes, and it gives that perfect look when we talk about that first read and how soft. We were able to invent a technology to integrate the speakers underneath the keyboard, use the fabric to push the sound through, and then push it out the keys to point it right at you as you're creating. It's incredible, that's insane, right? I know, it's crazy. And now the sound's coming at you while you're working. So if you're editing that video and you wanna be immersed and you want the sound and the visuals to come together, as creators know, which are so, so important, this is the product that brings that to life. Now I wanna share with you a little bit about Microsoft Office and Surface and Windows coming together. Office, my favorite product on the planet. I use it every day, Word especially, and I wanna show you how the dial integrates into the Surface laptop really quick and give you some function of the product. Let me give you my setup really quick. This is the Surface laptop. I'm using the Surface docking station. This product has all the ports you need and I'm sure the ports you're gonna want. But here, we're connected with a Surface docking station. So if you're not a student, let's just say you're a professional, you already have a Surface and a docking station. It works seamlessly together. This is a great product if you're taking it home or for work. But in the sense of students, this is the Word document. We know students love Word. We know they use it. We know they create. I create in Word and read in Word. But watch as I move the dial with my hand. What you'll find is we're going to integrate the smoothness of this dial to the product itself, which was an important element. So as I move left and I move right, you see that integration of the UI of Office. And this is that design that's so important between Office and Surface to get perfect, because we want these things to flow seamlessly. And when we demoed this on Studio, you saw that same elegant piece. But now I'm going to open Spotify. I'm going to play some chain smokers. And as they're playing, I want to show you what happened. I haven't touched the dial yet, but now when I touch it, look how the dial was context aware and switched to the volume button. Because now it knows I'm in Spotify. Now Spotify is coming to the Windows Store. We're excited about that. And Spotify's done some amazing work integrating the dial into this Windows app. And so now I turn the volume up and down. So when I'm in my paper, I can engage the music I want to because it does help me flow. Absolutely. And when I go back into Word, I start using the dial again. What happens? It flows seamlessly back to this transition. Very cool, right? Where you see that integration. Now I can use, I'm going to turn down the volume. I think that's so critical to a product like this, and it's such a subtle example of the hardware and software just coming perfectly together, and it's critical. I want to show you one more application that brings this product to life, and it's a very cool app for sure. Before I do that, let's talk. Windows 10S, Office, and Surface, these are all products that were made for each other. But the key is they were actually made with each other. Every single document you will use on this will be protected and secured. Every single app you use is verified by Microsoft, which streamlines you for security and superior performance. And if you need an app that's not in the store, that's fine. You can just go and download Windows Pro and use any app you want. Now that last application I want to talk about is the, probably the application that brings it, brings it together for me. 
Now, 3D for Medical is this company, an amazing company, doing amazing work for students and teachers around the world. And they launched Complete Anatomy in our store just this year. And it really is the product that I get to show you today to highlight all the performance in this device, to show you how the dial, the pen, the touch, the vibrant screen all comes together in just a beautiful, elegant application, and all designed specifically for the surface to come to life. I want to invite my good friend Edel out here from 3D for Medical, and she's going to show you a little bit more about this product. Edel, come on out. Have fun. Thank you. Have fun. Hi, I'm Edel from 3D for Medico. When I studied neuroscience, all I had were flat 2D images and textbooks to study the anatomy of the human brain. I remember spending ages looking online, hoping to find a better visual resource. But it just didn't exist. At 3D for Medico, we have a vision, and that is to transform medical learning. I'm really excited to be part of this revolution and to show you how using complete anatomy on the new Surface laptop creates a totally new and immersive experience for students. On this screen, you'll see the human skeleton model in 3D. And the power of this laptop means that I can easily navigate the model without any lag. The textures and the anatomical accuracy can be displayed in immersive detail, no matter how far I zoom in. I love this product because it allows users to explore over 6,500 structures right at our fingertips. And as we are visual learners, simply scanning this model means that users retain more information than they would from a flat 2D image in a textbook. The surface style allows me to interact with the model. For example, I can choose to fade surrounding structures. And now I can see where this complex bone sits in the middle of the skull. I can explode this region and see the relationship between anatomical structures. Using the dial, I can fully control the movement of these structures. You can't do this with a textbook. Now let's relate the anatomy to function, which students find very difficult to visualize. I can turn on the muscles and see what movement the muscles carry out. This is the actual model moving here in real time, and I can control this body movement using the dial. I am making the neck bend here using the dial, and I can view this motion at any angle. This is a whole new level of exploration, and it's not just applicable to anatomists. It's interesting for me, as a sports enthusiast, to see how the muscles work in the body. Using this 3D technology, users can completely immerse themselves in learning about the human body. But we can go even further and modify the actual 3D structures. Using the Surface Pen, I can cut through various layers and structures, such as the skin, the fat, muscles, bone, and even the meninges covering the brain. And now, I can identify different parts of the brain and study their related functions. I can also draw directly onto the model. Now, I will always remember that this part of the brain is associated with motor function because I have written it directly onto this cortex. And now I have an interactive screen that I have created in seconds. I can share what I have created via the cloud with my study group and friends. 3D for Medical's technology, together with the new Surface laptop, replaces the need for dozens of flat 2D textbooks, transforming medical learning by propelling a centuries-old way of studying anatomy into the 21st century. Thank you.
It's incredible, right? The way learning and students and teaching has evolved, it's absolutely amazing. Now you can pre-order your Surface laptop literally right now, right now. You, the Core i5 is starting at $9.99. We're pretty excited about it. The product, <laughs> I'm glad you are too. The product uh, is available for you to either pick up or be delivered on June 15th, so it's coming pretty quick. Go ahead and get your hands on one. Now, learning isn't something that has a limit. I believe that. I believe it's an endless pursuit. We want students of any age. We want you to be committed. We want you to never, ever stop learning. You never have to. You don't have to stop getting better, and you always will if you push. Don't ever stop breaking new ground. And in Surface, we want to give students all the tools they need to enable them to continue learning. From the Surface Pro, to the book, to the studio, and now to the beautiful Surface laptop. At Microsoft, we have a mission. And it is to empower every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more. It is so powerful to hear Satya say it. It is a mission that is the motivation for every single product we make, from Surface to Windows to Office to Mixed Reality to OneNote to Minecraft to Teams to every other detail you saw today. And it's about those details that these po passionate product makers bring to you to allow you to put your passion where you want to push it. It's about creating products to empower the students of today to create the world of tomorrow. Thank you.